The subject matter is on fathers today, and today is Father's Day. And what I realize is that most people, most people don't realize how important the father is on earth, how important he is to the family. And he's more than just a paycheck. You know, I hear a lot of people say, well, I'm going to make him pay. I'm going to make him pay. But he's much more than just a paycheck. And there is a spiritual order to life, whether we like it or not, accept it or not, believe it or not, live it or not. And that spiritual order is God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, and woman over children. And it is the, the, the father's responsibility to first protect his family spiritually because everything that we do in life is a spiritual battle. There's a warfare going on between good and evil, right and wrong. And, and the father have a responsibility to be that living example, just as Christ was that living example of what a father should be to us. Even though he was like a big brother and stuff like that, but his father dwelled in him. And we have that responsibility to live that way. It's unfortunate is that in that most preachers don't know this, and then the, the men don't know it, and so instead of it happening, things are getting worse instead of getting better. Uh, men, um, men are becoming women. You notice that? They're very soft and emotional. They wear ponytails and earrings, and, and they ride in the car with their woman and sitting in the other seat rather than the driver's seat with no insurance. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they have no shame about it at all. They're soft nowadays. They shave their bodies the way a woman would shave her body. They, uh, they get up in the morning and dress the way that a woman would get dressed to impress a man. Because a man draws women unto him with his masculinity. His power, his attraction is in his masculinity. And a woman's attraction is in her feminism. Feminism. Am I saying it right? <laughs> Whatever. And... <laughs> <laughs> when you're black, you can do that. <laughs> We're allowed to be wrong. Uh, but uh, you don't see men getting up in the morning and becoming, you know, getting ready for his day as a man would get ready. He get ready for his day as a woman would get ready. He also, nowadays, because of the way things are, and I'll tell you in a minute and take some feedback from you, nowadays men don't even believe, not all, not all, not all, but they don't believe in hard work. A man should love to work. I mean, it should be an honor to get up in the morning and have to go to a job or to your own business or working with your hands because even if you're not married, you're preparing yourself in case you get married to take care of your family. Also, you're becoming very independent. When a man, and a man should always strive to be independent. And, uh, and of course, you got to work for other people sometimes, but you can save your money. You can invest your money. You know, you still could have a sense of being independent about yourself. But men are not like that today. They, they're really acting like women. They're becoming more feminine than masculine. And the reason for that is because the roles have switched. You know, during the Adam and Eve story, when Eve allowed the serpent to seduce her, the lie, to tell her she could be just like her man and not to let a man control her. She believed that lie, and then the man believed her, and he became subject to her. And now, he is, even though Christ came and reversed it, he is still subject to her. The average man has a, a, an attitude. Have you noticed that? They can't take criticism. They, uh, they, they wake up in the morning mad, like a woman. And not all women do this, but they don't wake up with a peaceful heart and a... And a sound mind and ready to take on the day. They wake up irritated. And, you know, I say, I don't know how women deal with that because if I was a woman, I would not want to wake up in the morning with another woman laying next to me irritated. Isn't that like, it's kind of weird, isn't it? And in the older days, women would call men on that. You know, why are you so mad? You're acting like a woman. I'm the one supposed to be mad, not you. But they can't handle anything because of that feminine nature that's in them now. They have not understood their role in life, and their fathers and mothers have not set that example. And I have to tell you, it's evil, too. 
because our battle is a battle between good and evil. And when man, men don't stand up and bring some good into the world, evil will take over. An example, this coming Tuesday, today is, what day is today? I need to date this. The day is the 15th? Yes, sir. And Tuesday is what? 16, 17. Homosexuals or gay people will be allowed to get married in California this Tuesday. This Tuesday. And it's because the men have allowed it to happen. They have allowed the roles to switch in life. And now they have, a, you know, women are making decisions. And many of them are making decisions based on how they feel. Not based on what's right. Because they have not had good fathers and good husbands or good men around them to show them by examples how to make decisions based on what is right and not what they feel. And that's where the problem is. Men are absolutely pathetic. Uh, and it's too bad because of what's happening to society as a, result of, of, uh, as a result of men falling from their proper role in life. Uh, you'd be surprised at the number of men that I counsel with who think about committing suicide because life is rough. Isn't that amazing? I grew up in Alabama on a plantation, and not one time did I think about committing suicide because I had to go to the cotton field. Or it was too hot out there, it was too rough. I only thought that way when I moved to California and started hating white folks and got involved emotionally with myself. Because I wasn't thinking and feeling like a man. A man is free, he's patient, he's understanding. You never find him angry, never. I mean, can you imagine finding Christ angry? You know, he, he come here to save us, right? We go ask him a question and he get mad and say, why are you asking me that? You should already know that. Men have to come back to their proper state. They have to overcome that female nature, that mama nature in them, because women are suffering as a result of men becoming women. And I don't care how much a woman try to play woman, play man, she is not a man. I don't care how many degrees she has, how many, whatever position she holds in life, or how tough she thinks she is, she can ride a motorcycle, she is still a woman on a motorcycle. And the re what makes it different is the spirit. The spirit of men and the spirit of women are different. They are not the same. And men, what, what a man is supposed to do, because the woman came from him, is to bring that woman back into his world and back to God, because his relationship should be with God. And because it's not happening, folks, the children are suffering, uh, uh, life is falling apart, it is not going to get better. It is absolutely not going to get better until men turn back to their proper role, until they come back to being men. It's not going to change. We can pretend that it will. We can not speak the truth about what's going on because of the name calling, but it is only going to get worse. 